Hi, in today's session I'll show you how to leverage multiprocessing in PyTest to significantly speed up test execution. Well, configure PyTest X this which enables you to distribute tests across multiple processes and fully utilize your CPU's power. I'll cover key commands, advanced configurations and the best practices that are proven to work in real-life projects. If you are working to optimize testing time and streamline your CI-CD pipeline, this video will provide you with concrete solutions. Let's get started. So let's talk about PyTest XDist, the tool that makes multiprocessing in PyTest possible. So what is it? PyTest XDist is a plugin for PyTest that allows you to run your tests in parallel by distributing them across multiple CPU cores or processes. Here is how it works. Instead of running each test one by one, PyTest XDist divides them into smaller chunks and runs them simultaneously. This means your tests are completed faster because they're running side by side, not waiting in line. The best part? You don't need to rewrite your tests or make big changes to your code. With just a few simple comments, you can take advantage of this tool and significantly reduce the time it takes to run your test suite. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to set it up and use it effectively. Alright, let's start with a simple example to demonstrate how parallel test execution works. I'm going to set up a list of tasks, where each task takes some time to complete. Later, we'll optimize this process using PyTest. First, I'll define a list of tasks. Each task will have an ID and duration. This will help us to simulate real-world processes that take time to complete. Let me write that now. Task, sorry, equals one, duration equals two seconds. Next, we need to import two things, PyTest, which we'll use for running the tests, and the time module, which will simulate the task durations. Let me add these imports now. Now let's create the test function. I'm going to use a PyTest decorator. This allows the same test to run multiple times with different inputs. In our case, each task will be passed into the function one at a time. Let's write pytest mark parametrize with task and our list tasks function test simulated task takes task as argument. Inside the function I'll extract the task ID and duration from the input. Then I'll simulate the task by using time module, which will pass the program for given duration. So let's declare task ID equals task task I ID duration equals task duration start time equals time 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 sleep equals duration now let's check how long the task actually took to complete if it's shorter than the expected duration the test will fail this is an important step to make sure everything is working as intended so let's write uh, we don't need this comma here and time equals time, time, time equals and time minus start time and assertion elapsed time is bigger equals duration F string task task ID finished too quickly. And the code seems to be ready. 
And we now have a simple setup where each task is tested one by one. In a moment I'll show you how to run this test in parallel using pytest exdist to make them much faster. We need to install the plugin first. This is a simple one time step, just run the following command in your terminal pip install pytest exdist. Once installed using pytest exdist is straightforward. You just add the end flag to your pytest command. For example, pytest main py n3 tells pytest to use free processes to run the test. Uh, if you want pytest to automatically detect the number of CPU cores and use them all, you can use auto flag. This particularly useful on machines with many cores. When you run tests with pytest exist, you will notice that they are distributed across processes. Each process runs a portion of the tests and the total ex execution time decreases significantly. Now we will dive into the performance difference. First, I will run the tests without any parallelization. Since each task takes 2 seconds and there are 5 tasks, the total time should be around 10 seconds. Okay, that's because the tests are running one after the other, with uh, each one waiting for the previous to finish. Now let's run the same tests, but this time using pytest exdist. I'll use the end flag with auto parameter to let pytest use all available CPU cores. Okay, this time te the tests finished in around 2 seconds. That's because the tasks were split across multiple processes and executed simultaneously. As you can see, running tests in parallel is a game changer. With just one simple comment, you can save a lot of time and speed up your development process. Despite its advantages, parallel test execution comes with challenges. One major issue is shared resource conflicts. Where multiple tests try to access the same file, database, or API endpoint simultaneously, causing data corruption or unexpected behavior. For example, two API tests updating the same user record might interfere with each other. Another common problem is flaky tests. These are timing sensitive tests, such as UI interactions, that may fail due to unpredictable timing issues. Proper synchronization and retry mechanism can help mitigate this. Order dependency is another pitfall. Tests that rely on the execution of orders might fail if run in a different order. It's crucial to ensure all tests are independent. Lastly, running too many workers can overload system resources, leading to slower execution or even crashes. It's essential to find the right balance for your environment.